All right, this is a quick video over Michaeli's Mitten Kinetics, and it's how to derive it. So let's say we have substrate, let's say we have some substrate and some enzyme. Now the substrate and enzyme must interact, must interact, so they must turn into some complex called SE. So it's just a stand for the substrate and enzyme connected together. Now the speed at which that occurs is based off of K, and we're gonna say that's K1. Now this, this complex can also fall back apart this way, and we'll call that K2. But, but if it happens to go, go this way, go towards the reaction and make a product, we'll say this is P for product, it's based off of K3. And then we just get a free, a free enzyme again, a free enzyme. Now we're going to say the concentrations are just this, we just put in brackets, so that represents the concentration of each one of these molecules. Now let's say we have a limited number of enzymes. Let's say we have a hundred, or let's just say we have a limited number of enzymes. It doesn't matter, it could be just, you can think of some number, it could be a hundred, it could be a thousand, it could be a billion. Let's just say you have some limited number of enzymes. Now, if we are to measure the speed at which the reaction occurs, and we're just gonna say that's V, so basically it's the, it's A, or I'm sorry, it's a substrate going to product. So we just want to know how fast that occurs. Now we're going to look at that based off of S. So as a function of S, the concentration of this, so the number of these we have. So if that is zero, so right now if we have that at zero right there, then is anything, any of the substrate going to product? No, so the velocity is zero. Now let's say we have a limited number, again, just a limited number of enzymes. Let's say, I guess I'll just put a number. Let's say the concentration is 100, 100 uh, enzymes per liter or something. That's the concentration. So let's say we have 10 molecules of the substrate. Now if there's only 10 molecules of the substrate and 100 enzymes, then, then they won't have any problem going to, going, to, going to the product P. So we'll get some line like that. Now if we increase it to maybe 11, well, the speed at which the reaction occurs, those 11 will keep on going. And it'll keep on going to maybe let's say we have 50. Well, if we still have 50 enzyme or 50 substrates, well, I mean they are all still able to find an enzyme pretty easily. But as we keep growing more and more substrates, so if we keep increasing the concentration of the number of the number of substrates, they are not able to find find a uh, find an empty enzyme. So if we maybe have a hundred hundred substrate molecules and we only had a hundred a hundred enzymes. Now they're not able to find these free enzymes as easily. So the rate of production is starting to slow. And there will come a point, there will come a point where even though we increase the concentration, even though we increase the concentration, the number, the number of, of substrates, so if we increase that to like 10,000, the rate at which it will occur is limited by the number of enzymes. So we get, we get some maximum velocity some maximum velocity, and we're going to say that's V max. Now, let's say we want to find the, the rate of production or the speed of product generated. So the speed of product generated. Well, that's equal to K3, K3. So P is only generated by this reaction. So it's only generated by this reaction. So all we do is multiply K3 by SE. So K3 times the concentration of the substrate enzyme complex. Now we don't know the concentration of this, but we know how it is generated and we know how it is consumed. So what we do is we multiply it by K1, so K1 times the concentration of the substrate times the concentration of the enzyme minus, well it's breaking apart that way, so we minus K2, K2 times the substrate, substrate concentration. Now let's scroll down and just get to some of the more fun math. So what we're going to do, we're going to move this over here. So now we get K3 SE SE plus K2 SE equals K1, the concentration of the substrate times the concentration of the enzyme. Now we're going uh, to move the SE out. So we're just going to have SE, 
SE out here. So that's times K3 plus K2. And that is equal to K1 SE. Now we're going to divide this by K3 plus K2. K3 plus K2. Now the reason we're doing that is so we can get so we can get we we're st we have this we have these two things and we don't know either one of them. So all we want to do we're doing this so we can just move this over to this side of the equation. So now we have SE SE is equal to K1 the concentration of the substrate times the enzyme all divided by K3 plus K2. That's just because this part canceled out. Now, now we're going to we're going to define a new constant, Km. And we're going to say Km is equal to K3 plus K2 divided by K1. So now we plug that into here. So now we get the concentration of Se is equal to is equal to the concentration of S times the concentration of E, all divided by Km. So now, if we say that the, the, the concentration of the enzyme is equal to the initial concentration of the enzyme, minus the number of enzymes, or the concentration of the enzymes in the enzyme complex. So, the, the, so what I'm trying to say, I guess, is we have, let's say we have 100 right here. Well, so let's say we have, initially we have 100 enzymes. 100 enzymes. And what E is, E is the number of free enzymes. So if we have a reaction occurring, some of these enzymes are going to have the substrate in them. So that's the enzyme complex. So then the, the number of free enzymes is equal to the initial number of enzymes minus the number of enzymes in the substrate enzyme complex. So that's where we get that equation. So what we do here, we say SE SE is equal to S times the times Z. So we gotta make this a big bracket times the concentration of the initial enzymes minus the concentration of the enzyme complex. SE SE. And that's still all over K M. Now what we do, we're gonna break this break this fraction in half. So that will give us SE times E naught all over KM minus minus S times SE all over KM. So now, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this over there. So what we get is we get SE plus S SE all over KM KM and then what we want to do and that's just equal to S E naught all over KM so now what we want to do is move out the SE so we want to move them both out so now we have S E is equal to 1 plus S all over KM. So now we just we just move this out. So we just move that out there. And that again is equal to S E naught all over KM. The next thing we want to do oh I'm running out of space. The next thing we want to do is divide this by 1 plus S KM. The reason we're doing that is we're moving it we're moving it over here. So that gives us that gives us one plus delta or not delta but S over KM. So then that simplifies, so that cancels there. So we then get the concentration of S times the concentration of the initial amount of enzymes all over KM plus S. And all we did, I mean another way of seeing this 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 part right here if you're having trouble with that. That's the same thing as as E naught all over KM times one over 
1 plus s over km. So then all we did was just multiply km across. So we just multiply it by that, and that's how we get this. So this km, that became a km, and this km was knocked out. So then we just get km plus s. So what do we actually end up with? Well, that is just simply equal to s so now what we want to do is go back up to our initial equation. Our initial equation. This is this is SE, and we just solved for SE. SE. So we're going to take this right here, and we're going to take it up, take it up, and plug it right there. So, so what we get is the velocity is equal to k3 times s times the initial concentration of the enzymes all divided by km plus concentration of s. So now if we assume assume that there is an infinite amount of substrate so what I mean by that is we just have maybe billions of these then these will all every time an enzyme is opened up it will then create an enzyme complex. So then all our enzymes will be in an enzyme complex. So then the, the fastest that the reaction can occur, if these are all in a complex, the fastest that they can occur is based off of is based off of this this reaction of the enzyme complex going to the product. So what we get is if we assume that the substrate, the number of substrates are much, much greater than the number of enzymes, uh, than the number of enzymes, then the maximum speed, the Vmax, is equal to K3 times the number of enzymes, or the initial number of enzymes. So now, if we use this equation and plug it into this equation, notice that this equation has K3 and E0. So then what we get, what we get is this equation is now equal to V max, V max times substrate S all over KM plus the substrate. 